Hi, I'm Sergio with Arvig. Thanks for watching Tech Talk. Today we're going to give a basic lesson, very briefly, about how the internet works. We all know it's a system of computers connected to each other so I can talk to my friends and go to websites, but do we really know what the computers are doing with each other? It's very complex actually and we're going to try to give a basic lesson so you have a small understanding. It all really has to do with numbers, specifically numbers called IP addresses. So I'm going to give you kind of how people think the internet works and then show you the reality real quick. Let's start with a box here and this box is going to represent your computer at home for C. And you type in Google in that box and here's what you might think happens and in some ways it does but it's a little bit more complex. We'll draw this over here circle and we'll put a G there for Google. Well if you want to go to Google's website you go there right? line connecting them, you see Google, Google sends information, you send information to Google. Unfortunately, no, it's not quite that easy. Let's erase that line and actually show what happens in between when you type in Google. When you type Google into your computer, so I'll type google.com, the internet has no idea what that means, unfortunately. It can't read words, it doesn't know English, and that's to be expected of a computer. It has to translate that into a number. So, you have something called an internet service provider. That's Arvig, that's other people, um, but we're an internet, internet service provider. Let's put a box here. In reality, you're connected to them. You don't have a line straight to Google. Google's in California. There's not a cable connecting you straight to Google. If there was, you'd, get some, you'd be really fast searches, but it wouldn't do much else. So you're connected to your ISP. When you type google.com into your computer, you send that information to Arvig, your internet service provider or whoever, and it says google.com. What does that mean? I don't know what that means either, unfortunately. Our computers can't read English either. They need something called a DNS, which takes it and translates it into a number. So in reality, google.com isn't google.com at all. It's a system of numbers. Maybe it's 70.x.x.x, and those could be any numbers. Even the 70 could be different. There's not an infinite amount of numbers, as you can see it's limited to those, each of those, each of those categories can only have three numbers in between them, but once it translates them, it knows where to go. Now we know where Google is. We send that information to Google, and you can see the web page. We get Google, we send, they, Google sends the ISP the data, the ISP sends it to the computer. But that's, there's one other level of difficulty. Google is just one website. Let's say you're going to a news website. Let's draw another one here and we'll pretend it's um, NBC. Well, a news website's gonna have much more than just Google information on it. They'll have videos from their advertisers. They might have stories from their Facebook page on the side. They might have a Twitter feed. So really, when you visit NBC.com, you're connecting all these maybe 10, 20, sometimes more websites into one website. That sends the data to the ISP, which then sends it to your computer. So when you visit one website, oftentimes you're not going to one IP address. You might be going to dozens and dozens and dozens. And it's the job of the internet service provider to take all that information and combine it into one and send that data to your computer. It gets much more complex when you, can, when you add computer after computer after computer and other ISPs and other ISPs and other ISPs times billions of web pages and web servers. So that's a brief understanding of how the internet works. If you really want to dig into it, there's lots of information out there. It's a very complex system that started out with meager beginnings at just a couple colleges in the country. If you have more questions though, why don't you visit us at arvig.com or our Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash arvighq. You can always stop into one of our Arvig stores or give us a call at 888-99-ARVIG. Thanks for watching Tech Talk.